Hey, what's up everyone? I just posted up this video about this other this products that I've been using. Uh, they're called UVL Laboratories. They're pretty good stuff. They're a company out of Mexico. And they seem to be working really good. On my previous video I made a I made it about electrolytes. And this particular one is about uh, it's an antibiotic. This is really good for all sorts of respiratory diseases out there and you know this is what i use i was talking i kind of mentioned a little bit about my breeding approach to these birds but i i want to brush up on it a little bit more not really go in depth with it but just sort of to mention and to kind of highlight why i use this this products and you know i mean this antibiotics or antibiotics in general so I firmly believe that you don't use any sick birds into your breeding programs. You shouldn't use any sick birds into your breeding programs. If they get sick once, you gotta you gotta separate them. You gotta you know you gotta separate them. I I, I cull a lot out here. I'll be culling a lot of birds. That's my approach to that. But but with this condition, on out here in Texas, we get we hit the three digits. Sometimes it'll be like 110 out here. And recently we had we had some drought. We had, we didn't have much rain. So the birds, that's that's a lot of stress. And the birds will they'll get sick under stressful conditions like that. The birds will get sick no matter how strong their immune system is. There's some that don't, but you know you can do you can do what you can. Feed them water two, three times a day, change out of their water two, three times, three times a day, give them electrolytes. But, you know, it's still stressful conditions with this summer weather we have. So I use this product on those extreme conditions. And what I do is the birds that I notice that are getting sick, I quarantine them. I put them on a separate part of the farm and I give them this in their water. What you do is you just mix about a gram, a gram per liter of water. So, you know, you kind of, you, you got to do a little bit of math here and there just so you can get the, the right amount of uh, product. So what I do is I just quarantine them, leave them quarantined. And if I notice that they're responding real good to the antibiotic, I, uh, I still keep them on, on the quarantine for about a month. And then I release them on the back. But I put them on a separate, I tag them up so I can know which ones they were. And I put them on a separate a separate uh, separate area in the backyard they won't be mixed in with my game file so what I do with those birds once they get of age maybe six months down the road a year down the down the road we'll eat them or we'll use them for eggs and the ones that don't respond to the to the antibiotic I just call them you know I just I just I mean you don't want that bird or you don't want that virus on that bird getting worse, you know, spreading and being being resilient to your products that you're using. So what I do, I just get rid of it. Also, you know, that bird, that's one mouth less, that's feed that is gonna go to a healthier bird, you know. So uh, that's what I wanted to touch up on, brush up on my, my approach to this breeding. I mean, to this, to the reason why I use this antibiotics. Uh, you know, even after that, I still pick the best specimens, especially on my on my F35 line that I'm that I'm the strain that I'm trying to create. I do a lot of inbreeding, a lot of line breeding, and that tends to weaken the birds. So I pick the best, healthiest, healthiest birds that I can. If the bird gets sick, I don't use them. I just get rid of them I call them on this particular breeding program you know creating a strain I, I, I don't use no antibiotics I do use a lot of electrolytes and I try to keep them uh, stress free as much as I can that way their immune system could kick up and and uh, fight off any disease out there but if they bird get sick I don't use it I call it I don't even let them I don't even give them the antibiotics I just them but yeah, I hope you guys found this video useful and uh, and I hope you guys liked it thank you